Now the campaign trail and this year's marquee matchup in Virginia, where former Democratic Governor Terry McAuliffe is vying for a comeback against first-time GOP candidate Glenn Youngkin, Donald Trump and Joe Biden looming over the race. Our chief Washington correspondent John Carl took a deep dive into the contest this week. He joins us from Charlottesville. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. The eyes of the political world are on Virginia, where the Democratic candidate is trying to win with some help from President Joe Biden, and the Republican candidate is trying to win by staying away from Donald Trump. Get out there. Get to work. It's crunch time in the Virginia governor's race. Joe Biden won this state by 10 points, but with just over a week until Election Day, this race is a toss-up. Terry McAuliffe, fixture of national Democratic politics for decades, and Virginia's former governor is facing off against Republican Glenn Youngkin, a former top executive at the Carlyle Group who has never run for political office before. You need someone with some experience. Do you want tired old recycled policies from a tired politician, or do you want to embrace someone new? Virginia was once a solidly conservative state, but no more. It's been 12 years since Republicans won any statewide office here at all. Over the summer, though, polls showed McAuliffe with a narrow lead, and polls now consistently show the race statistically tied. This race is about more than just Virginia. It's a key test of the current president's agenda, the shadow cast by the former president, and the first major indication of what lies ahead for the midterm elections. From Joe Biden, to Barack Obama, who campaigned for McAuliffe in Richmond yesterday, McAuliffe has tapped the biggest names in the Democratic Party to give his campaign some much-needed energy. You've got Stacey Abrams in here, two visits by the president, visit by the former president Obama, uh, visit by the first lady, visit by the vice president. What, what, why all the, why do you need all the help? Well, we did this last time. I mean, yeah. we did the same thing in 13. Yeah. I mean, we always bring them in. This is, this is the biggest race in America. Who doesn't want to be here? For the most part, Glenn Youngkin is keeping prominent Republicans on the sidelines. He has Donald Trump's endorsement, but he hasn't done a single campaign event with Trump and rarely talks about him. Not surprising given Trump is deeply unpopular in Virginia. But Youngkin hasn't been able to avoid Trump entirely. The former president called into a recent Virginia Republican event. I hope Glenn gets in there and he'll straighten out Virginia, he'll lower taxes, do all of the things that we want a governor to do. It was an event that bizarrely included a pledge of allegiance to a flag said to be on display during the January 6th rally before the Capitol riot. McAuliffe, of course, pounced. They did pledge of allegiance to a flag that was used to bring down the democracy that that American flag symbolizes. Youngkin wasn't at the event and denounced the January 6th pledge. I wasn't involved in, in, in that at all. Gosh, you know, the whole idea of the, the flag thing seems, seems kind of weird to me and is wrong. Youngkin turned down repeated requests over the past several weeks for an interview with This Week. His campaign says he is doing no national interviews, although he has been a regular on one news outlet, Fox News. McAuliffe has repeatedly and relentlessly portrayed Youngkin as a clone of Donald Trump. He's a total wannabe Donald Trump. He's been endorsed by Donald Trump four times. Terry, you just made folks in Las Vegas a lot of money. There's an over and under tonight on how many times you're going to say Donald Trump. And it was 10 and you just busted through it. You're running well, against Glenn Youngkin. He's not Donald Trump, right? I mean, you're not running against Donald Trump. You're running against Glenn Youngkin. No, but I'm running against Trump's divisive culture wars, his divisive politics. I am running against Trump policies. You bet I am. Glenn Youngkin has adopted every one of Donald Trump's divisive politics. This election here in Virginia, I think, sets the tone for this state for the next decade, and I think it's a really important message for this country. McAuliffe has suggested his struggles to put up a big lead are a reflection of Joe Biden's troubles. We are facing a lot of headwinds from Washington. As you know, the president is unpopular today, unfortunately, here in Virginia. So we have got to plow through. But McAuliffe caused some of his own troubles in a recent debate on the issue of education when he defended his decision as governor to keep parents from pulling books, some deemed sexually explicit, out of school libraries by saying this. I'm not going to let parents come into schools bill. and actually you take books out and make their own decision. I don't think parents should be telling schools what they should teach. That last line quickly made its way into a Yunkin ad. And Terry went on the attack against parents. With just days to go, there's no race in the country right now political leaders in both parties are paying more attention to 
than Virginia's. What is this race going to say about the midterms? I think this race is going to set the tone, I, I hope, for the Democratic Party. And so that, if you lose, it's a bad, bad sign. Well, listen, the that's, we're not going to lose, Jonathan. I don't, who thinks like that? The biggest challenge for Terry McAuliffe is energizing his voters. Recent polls have consistently shown that Republicans are more enthusiastic about their candidate than Democrats here in Virginia. That's a big reason why you saw Barack Obama here campaigning with McAuliffe yesterday. And George, today you will see the Dave Matthews Band performing a concert at a McAuliffe event here in Charlottesville. Okay, bringing that in. And John, how's the pandemic playing out in this race? Well, McAuliffe has made it a big issue. You know, uh, Youngkin is a, opposed to vaccine mandates. McAuliffe has used that to portray him as being anti-vaccine. Uh, Youngkin says that is not the case. But interestingly, in a, a recent poll, the most recent poll here in Virginia, uh, the pandemic came in third among issues, far outpacing the pandemic was concerns about the economy and jobs and education and schools. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.